I am so excited to take you guys along with me today and kind of get an idea of what a day in the life with me is like. But I've got sweet little honey here. Honey. <laughs> but it's time to get rolling because I've got a busy day. I actually have a massage appointment at 11. This is like not a spa. This is like sort of painful, Chinese. They do gua sha on me, which is like, kind of like cupping, but it's scraping instead. Then she like puts herbs on my, it's like a whole like hokey pokey kind of thing. Um, it's a weird place. The, the whole experience is a little bit weird, but it works. And I always feel so much better whenever I leave there. Um, so yeah, sit back, come along enjoy my day with me and see see where it takes us i'm gonna start by obviously getting ready because this is a, a real special moment but don't tell honey i'm leaving <laughs> I don't know about you, but I never feel fully ready until I can spritz on some perfume. I love finding a scent that matches my mood for the day, but perfumes can be so expensive. So I am so glad that I found this new to me brand called Dossier. It's a small perfumery based in New York City that makes scents inspired by the designer brands without all the markups, the toxic chemicals, and the animal testing. Three things that are super important to me in all my face and body care products. You can go on their website and choose a fragrance based on your favorite luxury scent. Like they have things like Gucci Bloom, Chanel Mademoiselle, Jo Malone stuff, lots of brands that you've heard of. Or you can choose one based on a scent profile that you just know you like. Like if you like citrus or floral or fruity, they have like 15 scent profiles to choose from. But my favorite way to pick one is to take the free quiz. You answer a few questions about your preferences and boom, they suggest a perfume for you to try. So fun. I ended up getting Oriental Sage. I love how like deep and moody the scent is. It has notes of sage, almond, leather, and amber. It smells great, lasts throughout the day. And I know this might seem silly, but the bottle has a magnetic lid, which I just cannot get enough of. It feels like a super high quality perfume while keeping my budget intact. I was able to get a link for you guys for 10% off. A discount is automatically applied when you click the link that is in my description box. It expires on August the 19th. Um, the discount won't show in your cart, but when you go to check out, you'll see it there. You can also buy from Dossier risk-free as all of their products are returnable with return shipping included. So don't be afraid to try something you might normally not reach for. Head to the description box to get the link with your discount and try some new perfumes. So it is time for breakfast. I've been having a smoothie. I also have treats that I made for Honey. You cannot see her, but she is like down here begging. So I have these little dog paw ice cube trays. So this one is pumpkin and chicken, yummy. But her favorite is banana peanut butter. So she'll always eat the banana peanut butter first and then come back for the pumpkin, which I mean, can you blame her? This is what it looks like. So I'll add a little bit of water and then blend it up. All right, so look at that. Very, very, right? It's like this pretty purpley color. So good. It's also a little bit thick. So I'm glad I added that water. It's hard to gauge when you're using frozen vegetables. I mean, for, <laughs> or vegetables, frozen fruit, um, just how much ice you need. I probably didn't need any ice at all, but let's see how it is. Oh, super thick. Yummy. Oh, that is good. That is good. All right. So yeah, we're just tackling a few little chores. Ah. 
Okay, so I've done a little bit of work on my computer. I actually wrote the voiceover for McCall's, what is it, 8180? Um, you guys have already seen it at this point, obviously, because this video is going live after that video. Um, so yeah, I just spent some time writing that. I wanna try and record this voiceover before I leave for my um, massage appointment. And that way, when I get back here this afternoon, all I have to do is do the little edits and then I can get it up for you guys to watch. Hey, gonna record. Quiet on the set, honey. She's like, who are you dogging to? All right, here we go. Another week, another white top. I just cannot stop making and wearing them right now. But Bye. I will see you all very soon. Bye. I almost got it done in one take. All right, cool. Then the voiceover is like a little more than five minutes. So that'll make a nice little hefty video for you guys. All right, got to put on some shoes, gather my belongings and get out to my appointment. All right, you guys. All done with my massage. Um, we're gonna go get some lunch. I've got you guys set up on my little like hands-free thing, so you're a little bit crooked, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, I wanted to share with you. Okay, so I asked Karen, who's the masseuse, um, what to do if you're at a sewing machine all day or a desk all day, and you're feeling like tight and tension. And she said the best thing you can do is put your hands above your head, like both your arms above your head, stretch really tall and walk around your kitchen. <laughs> That's what she said. And you know what? Don't knock it till you try it. Right? We're getting some lunch at Jimmy John's freaky fast. So I put in my order two and a half minutes ago, so it should be ready by now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab that. And then we've got like a probably like a 20 minute drive out to the Joanne and Target and all that stuff. Plus it's raining, so I'm be extra careful. So I'll just see you guys when we get there. Alrighty, made it to Target. Always check the dollar spot. Check these out. I think that they are just like little storage bins, but I think they'd be the perfect size for sewing patterns. These are really cute for notions too. And you guys know I love a turntable. So they have this. Lazy Susan turntable too, so. Look what else I found. A whole section of tie-dye kits. So we've got bandanas, tank top, like a little backpack. So it does come with the um, tank top too. Oh, hold on, Dan's calling, be right back. All right, we're back. But they also have these super cute bracelets that combine like the letter trend, the letter bead trend with tie dye. I think these are super, super cute. Um, they're $10 normally if they're not on sale. Um, that's the, here's a, oh, here's a really cute backpack. Can you see that? Hold on. Look how cute the little mini backpack is and $3. So I think what I'm gonna do is grab a couple of these. <clears throat> and then here's like a neck bandana that turns into like a head bandana. And this one I think is marked down too. Anyways, I'm gonna grab a couple of these and like plan an event for my girlfriends in August so that they can come over and we can make all this stuff. How fun, right? Why is Target doing this to me? <laughs> it is a Gillette Rifle Paper Company collab for disposable razors. I don't use disposable razors. I have like a nice razor. All right, so I'm in the nail section. See these? That's what I'm wearing now. They're like stickers, I guess. You just press them on, but they're not like, they're not like press-ons from the past. They're like way better. Anyways, I was checking to see what other designs they have because I like how there's like different colors in one. But I think all of these are a little bit too flashy for me. So if you like bubbly and all that kind of stuff, the Good and Gather brand at Target, that's like their brand, has some really good flavors like strawberry mango, 
pomegranate dragon fruit. Um, then they have like cucumber mint, raspberry hibiscus, ginger peach. Um, so maybe leave LaCroix behind for a day and try some of these. Has anybody ever tried these before? I'm trying to find an alternate to like grenadine. I go love grenadine and soda water with like a lime. It's like my favorite mocktail or whatever. I know grenadine is cherry flavored. This one has no sugar, but it does have sucralose. And this is not the flavor profile, but it does sound really good and you can get it with lemons. I am patiently waiting on a Bath and Body Works candle sale, like a good one. These little half off ones are not, not it for me. And in the meantime, I like these candles from Target. So they don't have a brand, but, or I guess they do, the Opal House. Okay, so the in-house brand, this lavender lemonade smells like you just cleaned your house, which is really, really nice. Um, an emerald Amazon smells like, like a clean bath, like a, almost like a um, body wash. All right, I know I'm onto something because I just walked out of the candle aisle and this mom and her two daughters were walking by and she said, the teenager, Gen Z, said, oh, that's the best candle. The same brand, Oval House, Cozy Nights. So if you want to smell, if you want your room to smell like all of the Gen Zers rooms smell, Cozy Nights by Opal House at Target. You're welcome. Okay, good news. All of those tie-dye kits were $2.99. So even the bracelet one, all of them. So it's a really cute idea, especially as summer's coming to an end um, with your kids or, you know, back to school stuff. I think it'd be really cute. Also, be honest who walks their carts back every single time? Are you a cart walker backer or are you a cart abandoner? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, made it to Joanne and slim pickings around here. They've had 60% off their fashion fabrics for two weeks now. So people are really buying them up. I'm shocked. So I'm excited to see what comes in next. I don't need fabric, so I'm not really shop, well, need, want. I'm not really shopping for fabric. What I did want to see was specialty cotton. That video that I recorded today, the top I made was out of this cotton right here. Super cute, like ditzy um, embroidered cotton. Um, I wanted to see what they had on their dot clearance because that's also marked down an additional amount they might not have any no clearance fabrics at all hmm. um and then i wanted to see what they had for corduroy because i just posted on instagram reels the rachel comey dress from vogue is the rachel comey balston dress and even though the styling on the vogue cover or whatever it was really really cute um it wasn't very wearable for me and so I went to find the real Rachel Comey version and see all the different ways people were styling if any fashion bloggers or any retailers had styled it differently and I found a lot of really cute examples um and they were all either in this like wide whale corduroy or what she was calling foam fabric which I'm guessing is like scuba um, it did look like it had texture to it though, so I'm not entirely sure what it is. But, how cute would it be in plush? I mean, in blush. This one's $19.99. The smaller whale next to it is $14.99. What's the difference? I know I could use my coupon on this, so no big deal. They also have it in a really pretty denim color. Um, so Vogue patterns were just on sale a couple of weeks ago, so they should be cycling back again. They've got plenty of this blush corduroy here. Should I wait till I get the pattern? Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Probably should just wait. Um, but also while I was here, I wanted to check out Cotton Canvas too for the Sew Together 21 pattern for this month. It's a hat. Um, so I wanted to see if they, I mean, I have stuff, but I'm not like in love. I know I'm supposed to use my stash fabric. Don't be mad. I just want to look, right? We're just looking. Um, and then I need the need eyelets for uh, refashion I'm doing for Fix It or Nix It. So 
there are like some good reasons why I'm here and then there's always like the squirrel reasons why I'm here um, but look at me moving away from that corduroy <laughs> toward the cotton canvas here that let me turn you guys around these are the cotton canvas fabrics and they do have some really cute ones like that would be adorable for a sun hat top contender they also have this really pretty floral the sun hat then it also comes with a you need two fabrics as a contrast it also comes it's like a kind of like an oversized hat so it's not necessarily something that you would be wearing like everywhere but you'd wear it at the pool you'd wear it gardening you might 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 wear it to like a festival or something these sewing ones are cute too um but they just have so many great cotton canvases now um here's a really cute yoga one if you do outdoor yoga that would be cute for a little hat for outdoor yoga plants plants farmer's market if you're like if you sell at a farmer's market how cute would that be here's one with dogs and then they have some like fashiony ones too like this you're proud of me i just got what i needed and i decided to go with big gingham solid lining it's gonna be cute well as you can see pouring down rain hot af <laughs> that said it's three o'clock dinner's at 6 45 so stop at goodwill get on home finish the make it monday video for today and head to dinner have some fun tonight okay i think i've come up with a tripod here in the car all right i didn't feel comfortable filming in there because i don't know it's like weird crowd and all of that but what i wanted to go shopping for was the so love notions came out with a new dress pattern and it's a really simple gathered skirt plain bodice dress and the back has shirring in it and although i definitely have the elastic thread to do the shirring they had a really really fun um kind of hack on how to get the shirring look without actually having to do the shirring and that is to buy a garment that has shirring and either just combine this with white or whatever the seafoam green is for the rest of the dress or my idea was why don't i just get a dress that's like maxi length um with a lot of fabric so i can just cut this up and make my bodice and skirt hopefully out of just this if not then it'll be all of the bodice in this um the straps in this and then i'll find i don't know maybe white for the skirt it'd be pretty hard to match this like seafoam green but it's a lot i mean the width of the hem is like i mean it's almost three quarters of me and i am five five so whatever that equals <laughs> surprisingly i'm not that good at math and then on my pajama my sheet pajama obsession come on uh, right aren't those gonna be the cutest little pajama set and then don't be mad but i got a ready to wear dress um this one's a bcbg dress and i just thought the print was really pretty and it's my size and elastic waist and it's already sewn <laughs> it's an ity knit um and i think i just wanted something fresh and bright for dinner tonight and so they're five dollars so i grabbed this one even if i just donate it back next week that i think that will be worth it but i think it'll be okay hair's in a bun <laughs> like it only mean one thing home relaxing got the honey here she was happy to see me fed her some dinner of course she went to the potty Ooh, got my delicious iced coffee i realize i'm not a very good daily vlogger because i am like bad with the angles but excuse me <laughs> Um, but anyways, back home, need to edit this video, and I wondered if you guys would find it interesting to watch the editing process. Did you think that that was cool or 
interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure um, if you guys like to see the technical side of things, but there you have it. All right, you guys, you're watching it go live. Very uneventful on my end. <laughs> But if you have um, clicked the bell for notifications, then you just got your notification that my McCall's 8180 pattern review video is. So I need to get dressed and ready for I dinner. I also wanted to show you what the dress I got, the BCBG dress, obviously ready to wear issues. Yeah, it's a little funky, but I do think an ITY wrap dress is gonna go on my makes list for next spring, maybe for next fall. I'm pretty sure this is some version of a circle skirt and you just got the little band. Could not be easier to DIY, super cute. But I've got it with my little vintage straw bag, cork sandals, hair is in a ponytail. <laughs> and that's it for girls night. All right, let's go. Oh, it is nighttime, home from dinner. It was delicious, great time was had by all. <laughs> Honey's happy to see me, that feels good. Um, So I just wanted to say, <coughs> uh, thanks for coming along with me today. I had a lot of fun with you guys. I hope you had a lot of fun as well, but I'm gonna end it here. Obviously gotta get ready for bed and you know, do all that kind of boring stuff. But do not forget to check out Dossier. I have their link in the description box. So please check that out. From Honey and me, say good night. Good night. <laughs> good night, y'all. See you very soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all.